Assalamu alaikum. Let us see the types of forces we see in the field of orthodontics. So we have three types of forces. We have continuous force, intermittent force and interrupted force. So let me just write it down here. So we have continuous, intermittent and the third one is the interrupted. So to understand this, I'm going to draw three graphs here and that will help us understand the topic better. So we have the force on this side and we have the time here. This is the force, this is the time and same here. Okay, so in continuous, let us suppose you applied force of this much magnitude. So this is the Let's say this is day one and you apply this force. So with time, this force will decrease little in magnitude. So from here, it went here. But again, you went to the dentist. Let's suppose at day 30, you went to the dentist and you again reactivated the appliance. So again, the force is here. Now you have reached the peak of the force. Again, within few days, this will decrease a little bit and the cycle will repeat. So we'll get something like this. All right. So here continuous force means that its magnitude will change very little during a period of time. Means the decay of the force is little bit, just a fraction. So this is usually seen in the fixed appliances. Okay. Now coming to this intermittent force. So here what happened? You gave appliance to the patient. Let's suppose at day one. So this is the force initially. So this force will also decrease, but it will rarely get to zero. I mean, if the patient throws the appliance away or decides not to wear it, then it will get to zero. Otherwise it will just decline, but never get to zero. So that is the intermittent force. So intermittent force, it will decline to zero magnitude when the appliance is removed by the patient. And until it is removed, the force will be there but the magnitude of force will obviously decrease. So we'll get something like this. Okay. Intermittent forces can be seen in the removable appliances, like where you have the label bowls, springs, etc. Okay. Now keep in mind that in continuous force, usually we have frontal resorption. We have frontal resorption and in intermittent, we have undermining resorption. Okay, now coming to the interrupted forces. So here we have force, let's suppose this is the force initially and this will drop to zero when the patient takes out the appliance during night and again next day when the patient wears the appliance, it will have the same force and then zero when the patient takes it out. So the interrupted forces gets to zero between activation. Activation means when the patient is actually wearing it. Okay. So examples are headgear or face mask, which is worn for some duration of time every day. Okay. So this was all about the types of forces. And with this, we complete the mechanics of tooth movement. I hope you found the video helpful. If yes, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Allah Hafiz.